Hey, good morning, guys. It's Tush coming at you. It's uh, Monday morning. Uh, it's about 20 to 12. A little bit of a late start this morning. Holiday Monday up here in Canada. Happy to be out in the garage. And it's absolutely beautiful outside. A few clouds in the sky, but absolutely beautiful. Perfect temperature. Uh, let's see what we got in the garage here. I think it's just over 70 degrees. Yeah, the digital is telling me it's 72 degrees, 50% humidity, so it's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, back working on the uh, TR3A this morning, and uh, we're just getting this body tub ready for a primer. Thought I would uh, fit the um, transmission tunnel to see how we're doing there. And as you can see, uh, there's a few little holes missing for some of my fasteners, so. Uh, I want to try to fix that up before we get this ready for final paint. So I've got to find a hole there, drill a hole here, drill a hole here. And on the other side, I noticed I've got a crack actually that I need to weld in. And there's a few other locations I need to uh, to fix up to mount this transmission tunnel. These uh, these tunnels are are no fun to install. Definitely no fun in the TR6, and not much more fun in the uh, in the TR3. I just I just don't like doing this job. Anyway, it's something that's got to get done, and I've been uh, avoiding it for a long time, but now is the time that I need to get it done, so that's why we're working on this. I started working on that yesterday. I did fill up a few, uh, there was a couple holes here that uh, needed to be welded in, so I filled that up and put a quick coat of filler on there. There was a couple extra holes here that I'd uh, managed to, uh, to fill up and put a quick coat of filler on there. So really it's just uh, finishing up the final little things that I've been putting off before we get in into uh, into primer. I also uh, tried to work on this edge back here. I, I threw a little bit of weld along this edge, just getting a little bit thin in places and uh, sort of separating from the, you know, two pieces of metal are starting to separate. So I tried to uh, stick a few tack welds uh, in there. Cleaned up these corners a little bit. I'm gonna uh, do a little bit of work in here. So uh, anyway, just sort of little fiddly things that I'm working on, but things that need to be done. So that's it for uh, my update for this morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to, like I said, uh, work on that transmission tunnel this morning. I think what I'm going to do is just take that out for now. What uh, I plan on doing is uh, sort of starting from the front of the car and working my way to the back, getting it ready for prep, uh, prepping it for primer. I think that's the best thing to do. I seem to uh, need to have a bit of a plan on this because I uh, seem to just keep doing circles around the car. So I think what I'll do is I'll start at the front and work my way to the back. And we'll complete everything as we go, so I don't have to come back and forth. Um, that's the plan, anyway. So we'll, uh, like I said, take that transmission, transmission tunnel off, <clears throat> and then we'll uh, just set that aside for now. We'll wor start working on the front of the car and we'll work our way to the back. We'll get to that transmission tunnel when we're in the center of the car, and we'll look after it then. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Full areas uh, in the uh, inside of the uh, the bottom of the engine bay um, that I haven't attached to the bottom of the floor is actually attached to the bulkhead. Um, just got to clean these up and we're going to tack weld those or just weld them against the, uh, the sides of the bulkhead just to stiffen them up. So uh, yeah, we're just going to clean those up and we're going to throw a bit of weld in here and in there and we'll be done with the welding in this area. So I've got those two areas uh, welded in and just ground off a little bit. The welds are not great. Uh, nobody will ever see them. I did grind them down a little bit. Um, anyway, on to the next area. And I've decided I'm going to redo this area. Um, I already did the other side a while ago. I neglected to do this side. You can see that when this uh, car was repaired at some time, it had a whole bunch of uh, patches grazed in this foot well um, and riveted. You can see some of the rivets. Um, and it was actually fiberglass over at one point. So what I think I'm going to do is what I've done to the other side. I'm just going to rework this. We're just going to body fill it a little bit to make it look a little smoother. I'm not going to take these patches out. I've already repaired all the cage nuts on this. Uh, there's a bulkhead sealer plate that goes here. So this whole area has been repaired. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to smooth this area out with some body filler. I wasn't going to worry about it initially. Again, this was going to be a driver and then now it's uh, morphing or it has morphed into a bit more of a project than that. So we'll go and we'll uh, fix this area like I fixed the other side. All right, talk to you in a bit. So there's a uh, previous owner repair that uh, Ron at the wrecking yard would be proud of. Although we don't talk about previous owners. <laughs> anyway, lots of, uh, lots of brazing, lots of... Uh, Lots of rivets, lots of laying over of metal, 
anyway, all I'm going to do, I know uh, the correct thing would be to do would be cut this out and just replace it, but you know what, um, I'm going to make it better than it was, and that's only my intention. We're going to get a little fiberglass filler, and we're going to fill up uh, this, this void here, and then we're going to do a few coats of uh, Bondo over that, and we're going to call it good. All right, we'll talk to you in a while. All right, there it is with the first coat of fiberglass. I'm going to switch you over to Bondo now. Okay, guys, finish that uh, repair down the uh, passenger side wheel well. Looks better. Still not perfect, but uh, it's much better than what it was. And once we get a, a coat of uh, truck bed liner back on there, I think it'll look fine. It'll look much better than it did. Um, so that's the objective. Anyway, uh, just been working on cleaning up the rest of the engine bay area. It's a sort of a tedious job. But uh, got to be done, so I'll just continue on with that. Talk to you later. Evening, guys. So uh, just about ready to go on uh, the front clip of the car. I'm going to get it into epoxy primer tonight. I've got it uh, sanded down. I've got it wiped down with uh, grease and wax remover. I'm going to wipe it down once more before we're ready to go. Um, I've got the epoxy uh, inducting. Uh, it's got to sit there for another 20 minutes or so. It's already been sitting there for 10 minutes. And we're going to spray this front uh, engine bay compartment and we're going to spray this uh, saddle uh, piece as well. So uh, it'll be good to get that out of the way. Uh, you might notice that I don't have the uh, all the holes masked off leading into the uh, passenger compartment. I'm actually going to be respraying that. I've decided to go ahead and respray it. So I'm not too worried about getting some overspray. That's going to be sanded down again anyway. So uh, I haven't bothered to uh, tape up the holes on the firewall. And uh, anyway, we'll get the front clip done. And then we'll uh, call it a night. And then we'll get back out here tomorrow and we'll concentrate on the middle and the rear of the car. All right, talk to you in a bit, guys. Morning, guys. Tush coming at you. Tuesday, August 6th, about 20 to 12, about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius in the garage. Unbelievable for uh, August here. It's supposed to be hot and humid, and we've got quite the opposite. Anyway, uh, getting there. So we uh, stayed up a little later last night, and we put that... Uh, coat of epoxy primer on the uh, front clip up to uh, basically up to here still have to do the A posts and the sills and then backwards from there but anyway we're making progress it, uh, it's not too bad I did make some uh, screw ups hit it with a hose here I gotta stop doing that you know I don't want to be doing that when I get to the painting uh, part so other than that uh, it doesn't look too bad there's a few runs here and there um, I do have problems spraying this uh, epoxy primer. It's, uh, I guess it's not too bad, but it just uh, doesn't come out of the gun as, as good as I'd like it to. Played around with the gun settings quite a bit. Played around with the uh, pressure settings a little bit. Anyway, that's the best I could do. I think that's just the nature of this product and probably the limitations of my gun. Anyway, uh, like I said, it looks okay. Uh, this has got to be uh, scuff sanded anyway for the next step. I'm going to do a coat of the polyester primer uh, over top of this and we'll uh, sand it out. I did actually go to the parts store this morning and picked up some more of the, uh, the G2. So we'll be uh, using that later on. But I really want to get the uh, rest of the tub in uh, epoxy before I go with the uh, any further. Um, I did try to buy some more um, epoxy primer this morning. I uh, only wanted really an, an additional quart. Um, and of course, uh, this Napa that's close to me only sells it in gallons. So anyway, um, probably have to end up having to buy a gallon to uh, finish this car. Uh, I still have a fair amount to do anyway. I've got, the, like I said, all of this area, the trunk area, and um, I've got inside that uh, spare tire um, wheel opening to do so probably not a bad idea to have a gallon of it anyway so we'll probably end up picking that up this afternoon I've got to make uh, another trip up there anyway we've got some 400 grit sandpaper on order for me for my uh, Dura blocks so we'll go grab that in a little bit so anyway just want to give you a quick update and we'll uh, 
get back to working on the uh, the rear half of the car. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Hey guys, Tush coming back at you. It's uh, quarter to four, and uh, so I've managed to get the uh, car taped up where it needs to be. And what I've done is I've just treated all the uh, bare uh, metal spots with the uh, self etching primer. So uh, with the exception of the uh, rear valence, I still haven't tackled that yet. But um, all of the exterior body tub um, has been done with the etch. So uh, didn't spray out too bad. I got a bit of a run there. But other than that, it's not bad. It's a little bit of dry spray here and there. I was having a little bit of problems with my mini gun that I sprayed this with. First of all, I couldn't get any paint out of it because the uh, vent hole in the cup was clogged and I didn't realize it. So that was my first issue with the gun. And then uh, just playing around with the settings, uh, it took me a little bit to get it adjusted. So anyway, uh, it's on there. It's going to have to be... Uh, it's going to have to be scuff sanded before I do anything uh, else with it anyway, so uh, we'll smoothen it out with a little bit of uh, probably 220 grit before we go to uh, epoxy primer anyway. So uh, it's going to take a quick break. I'm going to run back up to uh, Napa. I'm going to pick up my uh, 400 grit sandpaper, uh, and that will be to do the final blocking once I get the, uh, the urethane primer on, which uh, hopefully will be by the end of this week. But we'll wait and see. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. We'll talk to you later. Hey guys, quick update. It's uh, now just coming up on uh, 6.30. And um, what we're going to start to do now is we're going to start to scuff up that um, self-etching primer. And we're going to use the last of my uh, Matrix uh, epoxy primer. I've got about uh, half of a quart uh, left sitting there ready to go. And I went to my local Napa and bought some uh, other epoxy I've never used before. It's called Glass Shield. Um, there's the catalyst for it there. I've got a gallon of it. And I figured I could use the this uh, epoxy uh, for the interior of the body tub, which I'm going to uh, have to sand down eventually. I'm hoping to be able to get uh, pretty much the... Um, the parts that I've self-etched primed, I'm hoping to, that I have enough uh, epoxy left to be able to do uh, those areas and then that will just leave me with the uh, rear valence of the car and uh, that inner uh, spare wheel compartment. Um, so anyway, wish me luck. Hopefully I won't run out of epoxy um, for tonight anyway. I don't want to really start mixing products on panels if possible. I'd like to limit that new uh, epoxy to the body, inner, inner body tub if possible. Anyway, so uh, what we'll do is we'll start sanding and uh, might be able to get spraying tonight. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so it'd be better if I could get it done tonight. And then we can concentrate on something else tomorrow. All right, we'll talk to you hey later. Hey, guys, uh, quick update. It's uh, five minutes to eight, and I've used up the rest of that uh, Matrix uh, epoxy primer. And we managed to get... Uh, pretty much most of the rest of the tub done uh, exterior wise except for that rear valence so that will have to be the uh, the new uh, glass shield epoxy primer hang on for a sec still got to strip that one uh, tail panel I've been hanging on to that for far too long now uh, just kind of like the uh, remembrance of the stripe on this car but that's going to have to go uh, shortly because that's going to have to get uh, stripped and get ready for paint at some point so uh, that's coming up in the near future anyway that's probably going to be it for tonight um, quite happy or happy with the way this turned out I got a few runs really happy with the way this sprayed out it's really really nice and glossy I wish I could get the rest of the car to spray out like this I'm not sure why um, this sprayed out so well in here I mean it's it's okay up here but this is really nice nicely laid but uh, yeah, overall not too bad. I did get a few runs as per usual. Um, over here on this, uh, there's a little body line here and it just dropped off that body line. So anyway, it, uh, it looks okay. I got uh, pretty good coverage. I managed to get underneath the sills okay. So uh, that's pretty much about it for now. I will uh, call it a night and we'll get out of here again tomorrow um, 
and we'll figure out something to do. Talk to you later, guys.